What's going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody failing? And today my people, welcome back to another video and I'm here my people. You already know what time it is. And as you can see, based off the title and the thumbnail, I'm gonna be showing you all how to make the one and only Bob McAdoo. This is a requested build. My people, I said I would bring it to you. Well, here you go. So, Bob McAdoo, I'm gonna be honest with you. I knew about Bob. I've heard a lot. Like I didn't grow up in this era, but getting into basketball getting into the nba i learned a lot about a lot of these legends that a lot of people don't really speak about some people do but not all of them so look bob McAdoo, okay as you can see right 6'9 210 um he has a 94 overall right and as you can see the attributes even with the um moses malone build the attributes are ridiculous my people and to be honest i'm not surprised if these these guys their builds is literally like this like in real life, like if these guys were really, you know, hooping like this, I'm not surprised because back then, you know, it was a whole different era. So look at this, right? 94 overall, 94 with the driving layup, standing dunk is ridiculous, 98, driving dunk is a 95. Oh my goodness, my people. I mean, look at this build, my people. Like, I don't even need to call out any of this attributes. Like, look at the attributes, my people. The ball handling is really great. The only thing is that there's no speed with ball, but look at this build. Oh, you kidding me? 88 interior defense, a 94 block. The rebounding is amazing. I mean, my people, he's fast. He got a 70 plus acceleration and speed, 85 strength. I mean, my people, what is this? This is a McAdoo do what it do type of build so we're gonna go to the mob play builder and go crazy all right let's go to the mob play builder and make the one and only bob mcadoo all right my people so we in the mob play but you already know first and last name bob mcadoo center right hand jersey number is 11. fun fact there was a lot more centers back then than they are now for some reason i don't know but that's pretty pretty cool to know that so you want to go to six nine all right and then you want to drop that weight all the way down my people to 215 all right he weighed 210 pounds but we're gonna go 215 and from google he has a 7-1 wingspan and you can go build or you could just leave it at solid i'm gonna leave it at solid all right the cool thing is when you go 6 9 215 you see how that strength is at an 87 that's dope so you still get the strength even at 215 which is really really good that's one thing about 2k23 i like that if you go low weight you still will be able to get some type of strength all right so first things first right i'm gonna start with the physicals this time with this build all right so when you go to the physicals the vert was an 85 all right so we're gonna go 85 Actually, we don't need to go 85. Let's just go 83. Contact dunks, I think is what, 81 plus? But I'm gonna just go 83 just to be safe because I really don't remember. So then we're gonna go 90 here. The strength, he had a, he had an eight, let me see. He had an 85 strength, so we're gonna go 85 and we're gonna be able to save on attributes. All right, so we're gonna go 85. The acceleration was 75. Are we gonna be able to get that? Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go 75. And then he had a 78, but I'd rather just go 75. That just makes sense. I don't really like doing attributes like 78 or 79. It's just like, that don't make sense. Let's just go 75. If we couldn't go 75, then we go 70. Does that make sense, guys? So now, right? Now that we got that out the way, now we're going to go to... So the defense and offensive rebound was crazy, right? But I think at least... Let me see 90 okay so we're not gonna be able to get that i'm cool with that it is what it is are we gonna be able to get that 93 block at least though no we're not gonna be able to get that so here's what i'm gonna do right put that wingspan up to 73 at least all right so we're gonna put that up to 73 now we're gonna go right back all right so the vertical i'm gonna go 83 the strength okay so 85 now acceleration i'm gonna go 75 and then 75 here okay now we're gonna be able to get that so now let's just go to a sweet spot i feel like 85 is a sweet spot the block we'll be able to get that okay we'll be able to get that now his still we had a 65 so we're gonna go 65 here and then the perimeter was a 65 so we're gonna also go 65 and then the interior is the 88, that's solid, you can't go wrong with that. All right, so that's gonna give us 25, my people. This is looking amazing. You see the physicals? Looking really, really good, my people. 
All right, so now we go into the playmaking. So he had a 31 speed with the ball. That's all we're gonna do. The ball handling was a 75, so we're gonna go 75 here. And then the pass accuracy, he could pass the ball. He had a solid 75, but I think a good sweet spot will be 76, right? So as you can see, right? We're at an 85 overall, my people. This, this build is looking really, really good, right? So to make this build balance across the board, let's go 85 here, right? Then you wanna go, you wanna go 85, right? Drive and dunk, go 86. You gotta put this up, gotta put all of this, let me see. Just so we could get something. All right, 73, um, let's drop this post. Okay, the layup, we could drop this to like a 80, 77, and then a 70, and then, all right, so this would be the blueprint right here. The drop this to a 70, uh, let me see. Need 75 ball handle? No, I think all we need is a 71, so we could save right there. 78, um, let's see, let's see. I feel like we have to go 86 on the driving. Standing dunk, we can go, we could go 80 here. So 80, um, I just need to get, hold on, let's drop this for a second. All right, let's drop this, we can put this up, 89. Um, what else can we do real quick? we do this that's gonna give us the 90 and then now we can look towards something else we could do 72 or we can do you know yeah let's just do that that's gonna give us 13 all right and then now last but not least we just go 75 free throw so look at this john mcadoo build this is different my people you don't really see too many people with attributes like this this is different I like it. I feel like the finishing is solid, all 80s, you know, and above. The mid range is an 80, that's fantastic. The free throw is there, the ball handling is there, and then you do get that great defensive attributes, and you got that speed and acceleration with the strength. And you, yeah, this, this, this build is sick. This, this build is really good, my people. This build is really, really good. 23, 10, 13, 25 sick build sick build all right so look playmaking rim um glass and post the fact that you do not get slashing is kind of crazy but it's whatever it is what it is all right so what i'm thinking here right advanced post moves and some stuff blocks right but we could do interior badge drop or i would honestly what would be crazy is double interior badge drop i just found out that you are going to be able to so 2k22 if you put double interior it didn't drop you know badges down two tiers it only did one but this year if you put interior badge drop for both let's say if you only have it on one right if you have interior badge drops on one and the center that you're going against has gold um rebound chaser you're gonna put that to silver right but if you double it if you double it, which you can do this year, um, it's going to go to bronze. So you're going to be going crazy, snagging over them because they have bronze rebound chaser while you got your gold. You know what I mean? And everything else that's in the defensive, you're dropping uh, all of their offensive stuff. So that's going to be crazy, my people. All right, so let's continue. And let's see what this build comes out to be. If we don't get John, um, I mean, Bob McAdoo, it is what it is. But of course we got it. Of course we got it, my people. I'm your boy, I make these builds. So we get a two-way inside the arc score. That's what he is, my people. This was perfect, okay? We did it, we made the build. Now we going through the badges, all right? So let's test this build. Bully Silver, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a fan of Bully, so I'm gonna go with the highest amount. So I'm gonna call that fast twitch, you already know. Silver, I'm gonna go Fearless on Silver. I'm gonna go Limitless on Gold, right? Posterizer, I gotta get that. Then you could put two attributes to the um, finishing so you could get the silver rise up if you want, but then you can go at least like silver here and you could go crazy like this, all right? Now, the playmaking, play more bronze, you gotta have that. 
if you're gonna play in a post, which you can, because you got the mid range, so you might as well. Space Creator, uh, and then we get Green Machine. I would do something like this, right? Playmaking, let me see, you get Quick First Step, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go Silver here. You can get Hyperdrive, and then the last but not least, I'm gonna go Brick Starter, and then, let me see, can you go up one? Yes, you can, so I'll probably do something like this. I don't really care for any of these, they all bonds, ah. You don't really need that crap. So now, right? I'm gonna call that anchor. Uh, we can get chased on here. We can get here. Workhorse, we can get post lock silver. Now we opening up all of these. So get your rebound chaser on gold. You can get your brick wall. Now we have two left over. I would go here like that, my people. This is how I would run this. And keep in mind, you can keep putting plus four. I mean, you could put plus four to here, or you could keep putting your additional uh, badge point at 39 to here as well. So, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build. And until next time, much love.